morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, I'm doing a Glastonbury Festival 2017 haul because I ended up with a lot of stuff this year. So some of this stuff is stuff that I bought and some of it is stuff that I collected at the end. The summer solstice was on Wednesday of uh, the Glastonbury week. It's the first day and it was so hot. It was, it might have been the hottest day of the year, if not globally or Englandly, then definitely Glastonbury. Yeah, <laughs> it was really hot. And one of the first things I thought of, because I just freshly dyed my hair and I was very concerned about it just fading. So I was thinking I want to get a sun hat. I first saw a hat, straw hat, when I was walking past the stall and it was this bubblegum pink colour. And I thought, yeah, it, it's hard to carry around. I'll get it on the way back. Uh, and then somewhere else I found this hat, uh, which was this lovely light pink. Um, it was a, so it's a nicer colour, it was more me, and it had a ribbon on it, which isn't something I thought of. There are, I mean, it was from a second hand place, it wasn't like a new one, and the top of it has a couple of holes, and there's another hole somewhere else. But uh, I thought I could easily fix those, I haven't done it yet. That was, uh, I think, the first thing I bought. Hey, just pausing myself right here because I was an idiot and didn't mention the thing that I bought that I was wearing, which is... The new Glastonbury t-shirt. Okay, that's it. Bye. So if you're a festival goer and you want to know where the hat is from, it's from a store which I, I don't know if it has a name, but uh, if you go, you know, you know where Field of Avalon is and there's that road that goes across the bottom and it goes down to the next, but there's a row of stools to leading you to the green piece and the tiny tea tent area. It's the first stool on your right. So the next item I got was a dress from, I think, so outside of the stool it said Lady Jane Vintage, but all of the labels on the clothes had um, like circus. Oh no, I thought I'd remember. I, I really thought I'd remember and I don't have the label anymore. But yeah, they had some sequin stuff and they had some vintage stuff and it was kind of separated. And the vintage stuff was lovely. It was all kind of um, like pastel -y, circus, glam, vintage thing. And it was so, it was just so my thing. But a lot of those clothes were like um, stained or they had rips and they were sewn together and they were selling it as if it was untouched, like prices, price wise, which was unfortunate. But I, I don't know, I was just really lucky on the first day. They were just selling just normal clothes on a rail or five pounds so I got this because I am always in need of new dresses especially comfy dresses I just don't really have any casual dresses ones that I could wear for a whole day happy with this so that's that one and that Lady Jane vintage slash circle floor stool was along the same a bit as the last one. Fairy Love was up there this year, did you know? I don't, they've been away from their usual spots for two years now, how weird. So the next two items are also from a five pound rail. I mean, like, what? <laughs> I've been really lucky with bargains this year. Uh, in one of the stalls that was nearby the Crescent Nerf Fern stand, it was just sec some just selling secondhand clothes. And uh, I picked up, I don't have a lot of skirts. I tend to rewear the same skirt for literally every outfit. I saw this one and I was like, meh. And my mum was there and she convinced me because it was only five pounds. <laughs> and it's this one here. I kind of, I like the rose and I like the pink. I'm not in love with it, but because it's got the darker pink, I feel like I can wear a bit more variation of tops with this than I can with my other skirts. I don't know yet. I'm sure there will be an outfit for it. And from the same place, on the same rail, I picked up this huge skirt. And I was thinking, oh, that's nice. But then I thought, I have a, I used to have a lot of like, you know, like gypsy-ish type of skirts that I could layer up and wear underneath with other outfits. And then I, I got rid of them all because they were all a bit uh, ruined and they're all sort of darker colours. So I was like hesitating for a second and then mum went, it's very pastel witch. And I went, okay, that's it, I've grabbed it, I'm getting it. Then I got three dresses from, I I just got loads of, it was the same row of shops, the stalls I was, I've been talking about, um, not the Crescent Nerf one, the one where, you know, the previous two items, 
uh, there was another vintage shop. Honestly, I probably could have, like, just really had a thorough look at everything and tried a whole bunch of stuff on, but we were late for... <laughs> silly. We were late for a performance, which was late, like, really late, so we didn't even need to ru rush or hurry. And then when they came on, they were a bit shit, and it was like... So, I think the the first thing I saw, I was like, I was hesitating because, again, it wasn't my colour. However, it was very much my style because it was this vintage dress here with the vintage style and it wasn't tiny. It wasn't tiny. So I was just like, oh. and then I was like, oh, yes, 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 okay. And uh, it was five pounds. Again, it was another five pound item. Just a little bit later, I saw this one. I mean, look at this. Look at it. And it was eight pounds. I didn't talk about the dress then because I thought I had plenty of time to talk about it in this voiceover because I filmed a lot on our walk where I wore it to. But it turns out that when I'd given the camera to someone, uh, they weren't recording the bits that were meant to record and they recorded all the bits in between. So here's a little bit of what my sister filmed, a really slowed down clip of one of the in-between bits that was accidentally shot, and also uh, this bit of me when I was modelling my hat and the car was accidentally in shot. It's a shame because I did this whole lovely thing in front of this beautiful pond in this little dock, uh, and if you've seen my mum's vlog at all then you'll know that we are never going back there because of how hard it was to get to and how hard it is to get back. Uh, so I'm upset about that, but yeah, there we go. Hope you enjoyed my little family videos of the walk whilst I explained that to you. I'm not as excited about this one, but uh, there's this night dress, this very long night dress. However, I do think I will transform this to be a shorter dress. And I didn't have a price on, and when I bought it, she was like, well, if that dress is five pounds, um, oh yeah, this one was eight, then I'll say this one is seven. It's quite exciting. I bought a unicorn tail. This was a rather spontaneous buy because I was dressed up as a unicorn. Uh, I had my fairy love tutu on, I had my fairy love horn, and this was just so fucking majestic. <sighs> so I walked all the way to the end of the road, and then I was like, no. I walked back and I bought it, and she attached it to my tutu, and it was glorious. But then later the day uh i was kneeling on the ground and then i stood back up and uh, my sister's foot was on the bottom of the tail and it ripped off it bent the safety pin and most of the hairs on the end of this tail came out from the top so i was i'm, I'm quite upset that it, I did break it almost like two hours after I bought it. Another thing to be aware about this tail, to get it to stick out, you've got to have it with the pin at the top and the weight of it drags down on material and my tutu is now ruined pretty much. <laughs> There's holes all the way, ladders all the way through the back of it. Yeah, and it was a stall I hadn't seen there before. They're called another earthling. Yeah, and that was again the same row as or like those vintage, those three vintage shops where I bought stuff from. And then on the last day, the last thing I bought was a cheese van sandwich. <sighs> My sister managed to find the cheese van that was Mum and Mine's favourite food place. And it was up by Shangri-La. But yeah, whilst I was waiting for them to restock their goat's cheese, because I was going to wait for to have my goat's cheese with honey and walnut sound toasted sandwich. I looked around the crafting field because I hadn't done that yet um, and there's it's it mostly just crafting things but I always forget there is like one bits and bobs shop uh, and I've got this goblet £3.50 for a pastel pirate lookbook video that I am making and then that was the end of the official festival however uh, me and my mum do go in on Monday as well we like to go on Monday because sometimes stalls just try and desperately get rid of what they can for a cheaper price. And also you go because the food stalls try and get rid of the food that they've made. There was a place that were just selling these tiny little notebooks. I think it was six for five pounds. 
and I want to do party bags this year. Yeah, other than the food, that's the last of my purchases. And the other reason we like to go in on a Monday is to scavenge. Okay, yeah, we like to go around the site collecting the stuff that people throw away. So I thought I'll show you the stuff that I picked up this year. So yeah, things that I picked up. Like I mentioned, I am working on a pastel pirate uh, lookbook sort of video, but I don't have a pastel pirate hat. If you follow me on some social medias, you might have seen like the profile picture of me wearing my pink uh, witch's hat. Uh, so that is like a proper hat. I could wear it as a hat and it's, it's not a party thing. So, and that's what I want when I'm looking for a pirate hat. I, I still don't know quite the way best to do it, but I was looking out for leather hats. I could tennis like tricorn hats. Uh, I didn't find any. I did find a party hat. My mum found a party hat. The one I found was this literal pirate hat. However, it's not pink and it's got this hair on it. It's still got that sort of party-ish thing to it. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it. And my mum found this like cheap, crappy, normal hat. Again, I need to play around with those both and sort of work out what I want to do. Other sort of boring thing, just a pink sheet. Something I am very pleased about finding is this pink fleece blanket. It is from Primark uh, and it's huge and I'm really pleased because I love blankets. And the final glass and festival thing I got was this pink pen. So it's really nice of some people who do just leave their stuff is if they know that it's something that's worth uh, keeping or recycling or reusing. Uh, a group of people will just put it together in a pile for people to take and it's so nice. I mean so often you just, you can see in the bins like a perfectly good welly or you know something like that and it's just, it's painful. I hate it. I hate seeing perfectly usable stuff in the bin and you want to take it all home but you can't take it all home because you don't you can't carry it all back and do you really need it no do you know how many tents and camping chairs we have in the garage because i can't i struggle leaving stuff behind that's i hmm. this that's that has been my glass festival 2017 haul uh i've got another one on my channel from quite a few years ago that i did for a blog post because i was super into blogging then so if you're interested in that, watch that, but also I kind of don't want to tell you to go and see that because it's probably really embarrassing, I haven't seen it in years. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your festival if you went. I'm sorry you couldn't go if you couldn't go and if you have literally no interest then thanks for watching when you have no interest. I'm really pleased that you say to watch that. Um, I would love it if you did subscribe or like or something. So now I'm going to be really typically youtuber -y and ask you a question. What did you get at the festival and where? And I'm not just saying this because of like engagement reasons. I'm, I'm genuinely interested. I'd love to see what your recommendations are. I, like, was there a food place you really liked? Did you get a bargain from some place? Oh, even just, just, were you happy with something that you got? I, I'd be really interested in knowing because I do love Glastonbury Festival. And it's not on in 2018, so this is what's to last us until 2019. Can you believe that? Thanks for watching. Bye.